Hello everyone. So today is the 2nd of October 2024 and the Royals won game two. So now they are, well, they're still in the playoffs and now they are going up against the New York Yankees. So I think that series starts Saturday. So I'm looking forward to that, and at the same time, I'm also looking forward to Bad Blood, WWE's Bad Blood, coming up soon. <clears throat> it's going to be a good weekend. So, but getting into this, we have the question of the day. Question of the day. And I don't really have any sponsors at the moment. I got Patches, if you can see her. She's... Off in the distance. There she is. She's just hiding. So we'll go with Patches. She's my sponsor. She's... Oh, and here we go. Panther! Panther is a sponsor. And they're both so, uh, showing their support for the Royals with their collars. So, uh, here we go. Getting into this second day of October. Let's see what question it asked me today. Oh, we're staying with the spooky stuff. The scariest urban legend you have heard of. Uh, dang, caught me off guard. Scariest urban legend. Okay, well, I've got two urban legends. Well, three urban legends that I know of here in Missouri. I don't know what would be the scariest exactly. Um, one in Joplin. I know about that story. It's like a spooky lie. Lights. If you go to Joplin, like there's some weird orbs or spooky light looking things that change color and uh, they kind of, you know, move on their own and all that. Uh, there's, it's unknown what causes them. I don't know if it'll really be spooky necessarily. Um, I mean, it depends on what you call a spooky. It's a phenomenon that happens, and there's just no explanation for it. Um, but also, uh, Lincoln County has two stories. There's a cemetery in Lincoln County that apparently is highly active of paranormal activity, ghosts, uh, relentless spirits. And then there is a haunted cabin in, Link uh, in Lincoln County also. Uh, I haven't been to either one, but supposedly there's a reporter that went to what they call the Lost Cabin in Lincoln County, and that reporter ended up running out of there, running for their life out of that cabin. Uh, so, <clears throat> those stories, I don't know. I mean, that's the stories of, of Missouri. There's also another story I know of. I don't know where it's at in Missouri exactly. Uh, but this school bus, urban legend. Uh, um, where if you go somewhere, on, if you go past a bridge somewhere, I, if I'm not mistaken... And then you stop your vehicle, you'll have like fingerprints on the back of your vehicle and your car will, uh, well, your car will be moving even though it's parked. And uh, after you get a certain ways away, you look on the back of your car, there'll be fingerprints on the back of your car, like dirty fingerprints. And, uh, but there'll be child size and a school bus wrecked in that area so a long time ago they say the ghosts ghosts of those children will push your car along so to avoid the the accident so to speak uh so or to keep other people from having an accident in that area i guess so that is interesting um but yeah, uh, again, I don't know where that's at in Missouri, but that's an urban legend. 
trying to think if there's another one that I know of. One just came to mind and I forgot what it was. Because I know like when I worked at Walmart, uh, one of my friend, well, started off as a co-worker and we ended up being pretty good friends. And he told me about the urban legend of the children. And he told me, like, yeah, I'm an atheist. And I have went there. And my car started moving. He goes, I didn't even look back there to see if there was any fingerprints or not. Couldn't tell you what happened. I don't have no explanation for it. But it did happen. He goes, I'm a firm believer in that. Because I saw it with my own eyes that it did happen. But again, I don't know. He... I just wish I re would have remembered where that's at. Uh, there was another urban legend. But I can't remember what it was at the moment. I may have let it go. Oh, there is a... I think... Because Supernatural, the show Supernatural, they hit on it a little bit like this... Uh, monster truck episode uh, or truck episode if you will ghost truck episode uh, where this ghost truck was you know of a former uh, well back in uh, the 60s 70s and Supposedly this white guy who owned the truck, he was trying to chase out all the blacks. Um, this is during the segregation period of America. Uh, so supposedly that act that was actually based off of something that really did happen. But I don't know. I mean, you know, a ghost truck that's still around that will chase people down a certain highway and then disappear. Now, I don't know if it has anything to do with slaves or not, but I have heard of that truck. And supposedly that does happen off and on here in the state of Missouri. Again, whether or not it has anything to do with segregation or anything like that, I don't know. And I don't think it really... I, I mean, it could run people off the road, but... Uh, but yeah, they said it's basically like a ghost vehicle. It'll chase you for a ways, and then all at once it disappears. So... I don't know. It's just another urban legend. I don't know if that's another truth or not, but it is an urban legend. So. But yeah, that's what I got for you for the urban legends that I know of around here. They're kind of a little spooky. I don't know which one's a serious one to me. Um, they're all a little spooky in their own right. I don't really find the Joplin story very scary, but... It's just a phenomenon that happens. I'd like to see it sometime from my own eyes. But I mean, because <clears throat> I know it happens late at night. I've just never been in Joplin late at night. I've been to Joplin, but not late at night. So, and then, but the other ones, I definitely, the other ones too, I'd love to go to. And I've never been to those that cemetery or the cabin. Never been to where that. Um, uh, you know where the uh, ghost children are at those would be really cool places um, I don't ever want to run into the ghost truck <laughs> if that's a true thing I don't really ever want to run into that that would be spooky as hell I guess that would be my number one if that would, that urban legend is true because from what I understood that's that vehicle actually will run you off the road if it if it gets the chance um or at least seem like it is <clears throat> but yeah that would be a scary time but uh anyway i guess that's all i got for y'all um eight minutes in now going on nine so that is all i got for y'all and i'll see you on the next video i hope y'all enjoyed this and uh yeah